weather. That's what I've got for you tonight, wind for all of us, the next 24 hours. But particularly in Scotland, already the wind is catching gale force. It'll swing around to the southwest uh, in the lowlands, and more especially later, I think, in the western highlands at gusts to 70 miles an hour. Chimney tops, trees could be damaged, and of course, the road conditions will be pretty poor. So Scotland will be worst affected by this depression, but not just Scotland. The rest of us, I think, will find the wind quite strong tonight and probably tomorrow. Scotland will be worst affected, as I say, but moving south, you'll see gusts about 50 miles an hour in the winds, uh, the rains from tonight in eastern England and tomorrow in showers, because there will be plenty of them. It'll take a while for the wind to die down even in Scotland in those showers tomorrow. So I said rain in eastern England. At the moment, it's quite widespread, but it is turning quite light over Wales, the west of England, and Northern Ireland. And it will be the east and Scotland that's affected by that rain tonight. It'll swing through quite quickly, though, the next three to six hours, and then we'll see showers running quite quickly from the west. Those showers will batter Wales, the southern part of England, more especially western Scotland. Some parts of the east will stay dry, but it'll be a windy night, so although it looks cold in places, maybe one in the occasional sheltered valley, it'll be generally a frost-free night. So Wednesday then, there's that deep depression, plenty of lines, so a very strong westerly wind, which means the showers will not just be on the western side, many will get through right to the east, although here's the best chance of sunshine, east from England. All the showers will be blustery, some will be heavy and of thunder with hail, and so some will go right across the country. It could be that northern Scotland and the northern Isles stay wet all the time, with the showers never really getting in there. Of course, a windy day, which means temperatures even of 9 to 11 degrees, which really are making things technically mild, won't feel that good because that wind will take the edge off them by quite, quite a long way. And now on Thursday, well, similar sort of picture, but with this little alteration in the southwest, which means another windy day with quite a few showers, again, getting right across the other side of the country. Temperatures on the mild side in the south, but here it'll cloud over and a spell of rain is likely for southern England and maybe south Wales later on in the afternoon and the evening. That's all for now. Just a reminder that Scotland is in the